UMass Boston women's ice hockey at home for their 2022-23 home opener after they're playing their first three games on the road. And they would get the scoring started early against Salem State. Kaylee Kosick netting her first goal of the game just over three and a half minutes into this one on assists from Katie Wilbert and Emma Webster. Beacons lead 1-0. Then a breakaway opportunity for Jessica Robert of Salem State. Right here, Kennedy is going to deny her of getting a good scoring opportunity against her. Remains 1-0 in this one. And then Kosick again in the first period. Looking to make it two goals. Firing on Hannah Aveni in goal. But she is turned away. The score remains 1-0. But the Beacons would not have to wait long to get their second goal of the game. As it would be Margot Butters. Smooth as butter from the blue line. Gets that one in the back of the net. Her second of the season on assists from Kaylee Kosick. Her first assist of the game and Hannah McDougal, the Beacons now lead two nothing. High fives all around for the Beacon offense, making it happen early. Emma Webster, who recorded an assist earlier in the game, a turnover by the Vikings leads to Emily Hansen getting the puck and then pushing it out to Webster at the blue line. And Webster just fires it through traffic, nets her first collegiate goal. The Beacons up 3 nothing, less than halfway through the first period. And they would just continue to roll from there as the offense really didn't need to do much more. And Victoria Kennedy would stand strong in net. But that doesn't mean the Beacons would keep having at it. But at the end of the first period, it would again be Kennedy making those key stops we just talked about right there. A glove side save helps keep the game at 3-0. End of the first period. Salem State on the doorstep of the Beacons goal mouth, and Kennedy comes up with some big stops there. The score remains 3-0 at the end of one period of play, and then Kaylee Kosick continues her strong day. Hannah McDougal finds her across the net mouth as if any, unable to corral that puck, and Kosick puts it in the back of the net less than halfway through the second period. The Beacons now up 4 to nothing, and still looking for more, and they would try to do it just a little while later with Anna Gustafson in front of the net. As you see here, the puck going around on offense, Butters throws it in, puck loose in front, and then Gustafson pushes it into the back of the net, initially ruled a goal, Beacons unsure, Vikings looking for a goaltender interference or some call of some sorts, it would make the refs come together and decide that no, it was not a goal for Gustafson, the score remains at 4 nothing. but no matter for the Beacons, they would just continue to threaten into the late third period right there, some pushing and shoving in front, Gustafson gets knocked down, Salem State trying to protect their goalie right there as the Beacons just continue to threaten. And then Victoria Kennedy caps off her great day as she would finish this game with 27 saves in the shutout victory. Right here, you see Kennedy in front. And then Vikings going to get a shot opportunity gloved away by Kennedy. But Salem State still in the offensive end. A slap shot in front, loose, still loose. And Kennedy corrals it. And the Beacons take home their second victory in conference play over Salem State for nothing. They move to three and one on the year, winning their home opener. They'll take on Southern Maine tomorrow at three o'clock PM right here inside the Edward T. Berry Ice Rink.